uh, you're also CNCF ambassador. What kind of discussions are you hearing within the community when it comes to AI? Now, I'm not talking about the announcement that vendors are making, but what are you hearing from within the community? So it's part of the reason I became a CNCF ambassador is because I um, am a co-organizer of the Cartographers Working Group. We write and maintain, wrote and maintain the cloud native maturity model. And when we first put it together, we didn't talk about AI at all in it. And this was back in 2021. We have just released the latest model, which looks at incorporating AI throughout the model. Where do you use it? Where is it appropriate to use it? At what level of maturity can you adopt AI? And are you adopting it across your entire stack or in one little piece here? And so navigating that is an area that definitely the entire CNCF is thinking about. There's an AI working group that is spending a lot of time talking about how to adopt this in a safe way um, to, again, make sure people are more efficient, are more productive, but are doing it safely. I mean, you're very, very active in this community. You are also co-founder of Cube Crash. Yes. Uh, talk a bit about Cube Crash, those who don't know, and I think it's been eight years now, something like that. Yeah, so just uh, talk a bit about that and uh, uh, how you're seeing that evolving. So with Cube Crash, um, a number of us came together and we wanted to create a virtual event for people who couldn't come to KubeCon but wanted the amazing content. So we started with you know a two-hour conference and it's now turned into you know a day-long conference. We recruit some amazing speakers um, and we ask our community of attendees what they want to hear about. And the last three Cube Crashes, people want to talk platform engineering. That's what they want to talk about. That's where the problems are. Um, we see more and more people saying platform engineering and AI. Um, and so we will, when we are planning for our next year to crashes, we will also ask our audience again and we'll see what they want to hear.